Hi Libra, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a speed read for your sign today. Yes, that's right, a speed read. This isn't going to be anything like any of my other readings. It's not going to be long or in-depth in any way whatsoever. It is um, speed read, right? It's Valentine's Day, love, relationships. So um, yeah, it's going to be quick and fast and to the point. So buckle up. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. All right. Well, this is an interesting reading. Interesting. It's filled with a lot of heavy energy, but it turns out very good in the end. So let's get started, right? Who am I to argue with the cards? Let's read what they have. You open up this, this reading with conflict. You are extremely conflicted with the nine, I'm sorry, the five of wands. This is disagreement, competition, strife, tension, and conflict, right? So I want to reiterate conflict and competition, okay? Seven of Pentacles comes in on top of that and says that you are extremely disappointed about the investment that you have made into this relationship. King of Swords comes in and says, you are about to cut something out of your life. <clears throat> five of Cups says that you are going to move on. The Five of Cups is all about loss, regret, disappointment, despair, and bereavement. And it's also about moving on. So you are going to cut this despair and this disappointment out of your life and move on. The Two of Pentacles tells me that this whole disappointment, this conflict, this despair, this moving on has to do with a third party situation. This is a card about juggling. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know where that came from. This card is about juggling, okay? So your decision is to cut this out of your life. This decision is based on a tower moment that you've had. It was some kind of a revelation or an awakening, right? This tower moment is you realizing that somebody has somebody else and they are juggling you, okay? Huge revelation and an awakening. It's upheaval and chaos in your life. The t this tower moment is all of the elements of the tower moment. Sudden change, upheaval, chaos, revelation, and an awakening. I mean, this is a big tower moment for you. <coughs> the star card comes in and says, don't worry, though. You have hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon for your life. Knight of Wands comes in and says, despite how bad this is right here. You have hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with a renewed sense of enthusiasm, excitement, a zest for life, energy in general, right? That's, this is the universe telling you, don't despair. Even though this is painful and hard right now, you have beautiful things coming in your future by which you will be able to rest, recuperate, and have peace in your life. Now, we start the, the explanation, okay? This has happened. Happened. You did it. You cut it out of your life. It's happened. This down here is an explanation of what happened. And I know it's strange, you know? If I could, if I could in good conscience, just rearrange everything to make a more fluid story, I would, and I have the urge to do that sometimes, but my integrity won't let me because the cards are the cards are the cards. So, good things coming to you. This already happened. You cut this person out of your life because of some huge tower revelation moment where you realized that they were juggling you with another person, okay? Universe says you have hope, faith, purpose, renewal, a renewed sense of excitement, enthusiasm. You have good things coming on the horizon. You will be able to rest, recuperate, and have peace in your life. What happened? This is what happened. Here you are in the hangman, right? This is you reflecting on all of this. It's really cool because this is a window into your mind right here and your thought processes. It's so cool. So you have the hangman right there, right? Thinking, contemplating, pausing, surrendering, processing everything that just happened. Here's the processing. 
you're, you're, you're processing the confusion, right? You're processing the confusion. The confusion about who it was you were giving and receiving and sharing your prosperity with. Well, what happened, right? There's you feeling the wheel of fortune, feeling that there is something better for you. This is you thinking about closing down one life cycle, starting a new life cycle, a turning point in your destiny. This tower moment was a turning point in your destiny. Here is you with the five of cups, feeling very, very disappointed. Despair, bereavement, regret, loss. This is also you moving on from the situation very quickly with the eight of wands. The eight of wands is about speed, action, movement, and swift change in your life. You are leaving somebody out in the cold, unquestionably leaving somebody out in the cold, somebody that you consider at this point to be a very painful lesson in your life. Five of Pentacles, again, leaving somebody out in the cold. Five of Wands, conflict, tension, competition, disagreements, right? Competition. Three of Cups, a third party situation. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration, a third party situation. So this tower moment was you discovering that there is a third party situation going on in your relationship. Ace of Cups leaves you just overwhelmed with emotion. I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, overwhelmed with emotion. Three of Swords, a, a broken heart, a broken heart, because you had intended to plan your future with this person. Ten of Wands, but now the burden is just too much to bear. Four of Cups, reevaluating. Queen of Cups, how you feel about this person. Eight of Swords, spending a good hard minute inside your head, in the hanged man mode, trying to make sense of what just happened to your life. We start with the hanged man, we end with the hanged man, right? Pause, surrender, letting go and coming out on the new side, on the other side with new perspectives. So from hangman to hangman, this is what happened. This is what happened. So you start thinking about it in this hangman, you go through it, you sort it through, you figure it all out, stops with the hangman, coming out on the other side with new perspectives. What are these new perspectives? Well, the Empress, you could be dealing with a Taurus, could not, it doesn't matter. The Empress is about abundance. So your new perspective after going through this, coming out on the other side is that you're going to create abundance in your life. You are not giving up on love. You're going to find love. You, you, you are going to find love. Two of Cups reiterates a love relationship. Four of Wands is the building the structure by which to live your life, by which to live your life in harmony, right? Harmony in your life. Strength comes in and says that you are strong. You are strong, Libra. Very, very strong. Sun card comes in and says you see things clearly now. You see things clearly and oddly enough, you're finding a sense of happiness because I, I feel like your whole attitude with this is, um, is uh, you know what, your loss, your loss, your loss. If you had the, the desire to go out and screw around with somebody else in a third party situation, you know what, my heart might be broken, but it's your loss, not mine. And you move on with a sense of clarity and quite frankly, happiness. Six of Wands says you are going to move forward in your life with victory, progress, self-confidence, and success. So Libra, that's awesome because you know, you came out of all of this with, um, on top, on top, you have dealt with this whole situation in a very healthy, 
kind of way. And that's not to discount the pain that's going on because there is definitely pain going on. But for some reason, I seem to think that you have been feeling this way for a while now because I, for some reason I seem to think that this tower moment wasn't so much an epiphany about what was going on as much as it was the straw that broke the camel's back, right? The straw that broke the camel's back as far as, as what you were going to do about the situation. And let me see if there's anything else these cards wanna spit out. Yeah, strength, right? You're strong. You're strong, Libra. You're strong. And the Ten of Pentacles, right? Golden opportunity, going to be happy, going to turn this whole situation into, into something that is um, positive for yourself. Like I said, I think you've been thinking about this for a good long minute, and it just took a second to pull the trigger and take action. And that is your reading, my friend. If it if you liked it, like it. If it, you think it'll help somebody, share it. And if you haven't subscribed, Click the subscribe button, click the little dingy bell so you get notifications of when my readings come out. And um, namaste, my friends. Namaste.